All right, what's going on, everybody? I got a, another uh, Why We Jailbreak video, and in this video, I'm actually going to be covering a new city of tweet called Samba. Um, what this does is it allows you to um, actually connect or uh, look at all your information on your uh, uh, iPhone through uh, several different devices. It basically turns your iPhone into like a media hub, and uh, you can uh, um, watch videos and stuff uh, on your computer or maybe on a different device which I'm going to be showing a computer and also uh, my boxy box. Um, first thing, uh, go ahead and then, uh, go to City and then install Samba and uh, what you need to do is go to Settings which I have Samba here up right now and uh, go ahead and turn it on and uh, what you need to do is the root password already is um, I believe it's already root but uh, just go ahead and you don't type nothing in there just go ahead and hit change password and type in whatever password you want to use um, go down here and turn that on and uh, that's about it that's all you do on your phone right now and uh, it also does install a, uh, a SB setting right there so you can turn and uh, you can turn this tweak on and off from there so it's not running all the time uh, the first thing I'm going to show you how to do this is on uh, your computer, which um, what you need to do here is go to, um, basically what we're going to go to is my computer, and you are going to go down right here to where it says, um, right there, it says network. Now, I already have this running, so uh, when you hit network right there, um, it actually shows all the different things which uh, that's my phone right there and when you first double click on it um, it actually is going to ask you for um, the password and stuff which the the username is root and then the password is whatever password that you just typed in when it said change password you type that password in there and you're going to use that now so remember that username is root and then that password is whatever you just made up and then from there you're going to be able to connect to um, your device on your computer. Um, it works kind of like SSH but I think it works a little better because you can turn uh, this on and off. Um, and as you can see uh, we're now going into uh, the camera application and I can go ahead and open a picture. There's another picture and uh, you can just keep swiping over just like that and uh, again you guys this is all from uh, this is all from my phone right now it's just uh, it's going through Wi-Fi which of course you guys you do need to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network just to make sure uh, that uh, you guys uh, know that and uh, that is how you connect and it even does uh, go full I mean uh, you can have full access as you can see right there um, we can go all the way to library and that's a lot of the tweaks you can go to uh, themes right here and you can customize themes however you need to uh, it's a pretty cool tweak and uh, that's how you use it on uh, your computer which this right here is the received um, for the Bluetooth which we can play music from this and everything else um, now I'm going to show you how to use it on uh, my boxy box which let's go ahead and go over here so let me turn this TV a little bit here sorry I'm getting a little um, probably getting a little crazy for you guys um, which I haven't been able to find my box remote so we're just going to use the boxy remote um, for iPhone which we just hit the back button there and that is my boxy box now uh, how you set this up is what you're gonna need to do is go um, see normally uh, when you go into files over here let's go all the way over here to files let me back up a little bit so you guys can see this better um, be a lot easier if I could find the actual remote. Um, if you go down here to network, um, 
as you can see, all these already say Samba, which is pretty much they're all, um, you know, my hard drives and stuff. Um, right here, as you can see, it says I Craziness, which that is my phone. And if I hit that, it's not gonna let it. It's not gonna let it work because it doesn't have the right password, which I'm gonna show you guys how to fix that. What you're gonna need to do is go to um, settings, and you need to go to um, file sources right there. And uh, what we need to do is go to add source, and then uh, you want to go all the way down here which you can't just go to the um, I craziness like I showed you you have to go to into right here and hit manually enter IP name and you get this pop-up which let's see if you guys can see a little better there um, what you want to do is you enter the host name which is your phone's name which mine was I craziness right there in the host name or you can just type in your phone's IP address the username is root and the password is whatever you set up and you just hit OK. So I'm going to back out of that. You hit OK and that's it. Now that means that your phone from now on is going to be saved under Boxy. So what you need to do is from now on you can actually go to, let's back out here to, um, let's go to uh, Files. We're going to go down to right here is my phone and if we hit that right there it's the same thing now I will warn you guys that videos over this are kinda choppy um, but music and pictures work great um, let's go ahead and go to that camera roll right here and uh, as you can see it does put a full preview up there of everything which all that is boring stuff let's go down and uh, as you see, those are all the pictures from my phone. And uh, we can go ahead and hit one right here. And uh, it's just going to load it in full screen. Um, I mean, I think that it is an amazing tweak. And uh, it's pretty cool because you can turn, like I said, you can turn this on and off. And, you know, I don't know how many of you actually own a boxy box, but um, I think it's amazing. Um... Let me go ahead and try to show you guys video. I just want to show you guys what I'm talking about. It is kind of choppy. Um, um, let me go ahead and turn this down real quick. Hold on. All right. Sorry about that. Um, let's go ahead and try to hit this video. And uh, like I said, it might take a, a second to load, but um, this tweak is in, you know, it is the first release, so maybe it might get a little bit better. Who knows? And it's loading across there. And uh, this video I'm about to show, it is in full 720, so, I mean, you have to understand why it, be, why it might be a little choppy. And uh, that's again, that is playing a, a, a full, uh, an, not full HD, but a 720p HD video um, from my phone. As you can see, it is a, a little choppy. Um, regular videos, I'm sure, would play just fine. It's just the HD, it, uh, it might be a little choppy as of right now. Which we'll just go ahead and stop that. And that's back up. And uh, it works the same way. We can go into, you know, all the main files as well. And uh, we can go over here to our receive folder. Let's see if we can play maybe a smaller video. No, those won't play because those won't full transfer. Um... Oh, I know what I wanted to go to here. Go to library and let's go down here to downloads. And, uh, and this is, we're going to just play a song real quick. Well, a 
second of a song. And uh, that's it, you guys. Um, again, you guys, this uh, tweak or this app is called Samba, and uh, it is pretty amazing. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, please rate, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think on this tweak, and uh, have a nice day.